it's Gina and welcome back to this week's video. So for today I decided to film a at home no equipment leg workout. I'm going to show you guys 10 different moves that I like to do at the gym or at home and show you guys how I perform it and how to do it correctly so you guys don't get injured and probably give you guys some tips on how to activate different type of leg muscles and all that fun stuff. Also, I have baby Lux with me, so she will be participating with some of the leg workouts. And the reason if I do sound a little bit out of breath is because I just filmed a at home arm workout for my Instagram. By the time this video will be uploaded, my at home arm workout will already have been uploaded on my Instagram, which is stuff Gina does. You can follow me along. I am starting to post a little bit more workout type content with also some of my opinion. Let's get started. Now, the first thing I do want to say is that each move that I do, if I choose to do it at home, I would recommend doing anywhere between 20 to 30 of them per rep. That way you guys are really going to feel the activation and feel the burn because this is body weight type exercises. You will have to increase the rep for it to be feeling the same type of intensity if you were to have weights while doing these type of workouts. The last thing I do wanna say is for people who are trying to grow muscle mass and really have the lean physique that they see a lot of with these people on Instagram is you have to remember that these people who are sharing content, that's their middle of their fitness journey. And who knows, this could be the beginning of your fitness journey. You could have spent a few months into this fitness journey, but don't compare your body type to whoever you are watching your videos from because you guys are both in different stages of your fitness journey. And also a lot of people, including myself, I go to the gym and I lift weights. I do Olympic weightlifting. I do different type of accessory movements just to grow certain muscles for a certain physique that I'm hoping to achieve. And I believe that with body weight home workouts, you can get to that type of level. However, it will take a very long time and it will be challenging because you don't have that extra weight from dumbbells or barbells to add a form of tension to the muscle. You don't compare yourself to people who have been in the fitness industry for multiple years. Now we can get started with the workouts. So I'm going to show you guys, it will be pulsing sumo squats. So the angle I'm going to show you guys for the first half of this will be my lower half, just so you guys can see what a sumo squat looks like because it is different than a conventional squat. So, I like to keep my legs a little bit wider than hip and shoulder length, and then you point your toes outwards, so that way you're activating a different part of your quad a little bit more. And when you go down, I just go like this, do little hops, little pulses, and for these, I like to go higher reps. So I will do anywhere between 25 to 35. If I do have a weight with me, then I do a little bit lower because I do have that added tension and have fun with that type of squat. That's one of my favorite squats to do. I love doing sumo squats because I really feel the activation and the burn. Now we're going to be doing box jump squats. So here we go. So I usually will already start seating down. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. And make sure you look straight. That's why I moved my head because you notice that at the beginning of the set, I was looking here and I wasn't able to keep myself stabilized. So make sure you're looking forward. I usually do them a little bit fast just so I can get the increased heart rate because. It's February, it's Cardiovascular Awareness Month, and make sure we're taking good care of our cardiovascular system and also our heart. So that would be a great move to incorporate, especially for February, which is again, Cardiovascular Awareness Month. Now, the next move that I'm gonna show you guys is really good for glute activation. It is a move that I really like to do for growing my glutes. And yes, it does look weird and it looks funny but it works and especially what i do is when i'm doing these hip thrusts 
is that when I get to the top, I like to hold it for at least one second. That way I'm making sure that if my glute wasn't activated coming up or going down from previous reps, that it is when I hold it for that one second. The thing about hip thrust is you have to make sure, so let's say this is my body, you're going in this rocking, tilting motion. And back placement, I have seen people at the gym go with their upper back. You can add weights to this, but here we go. Also make sure your legs aren't too far from your body. That way, and the closer it is, the more tension it builds. And then hold it for one second, come down. Hold it for one second, come down. Make sure your legs are at least shoulder width apart or hip width apart. Also, if you want, you can add resistant bands to this to make sure your knees don't cave in because yes, we are young. So if our knees are caving in, we won't feel it as much, but when we do get older, we will definitely feel that knee pain because your knees aren't supposed to be caving in. So try really hard to keep them straight or if you need a resistant band to help you with that because that added tension will help you keep the legs locked and closer together. Now I'm gonna show you guys a variation to the hip thrust that I like to do, especially when I'm at the gym, I like to add a dumbbell to my hip area because you're lifting one of your legs up from the ground. And so that leg that's lifted, I like to put the dumbbell right here where the hip is to add just a little bit of tension to it. So let's get started. Again, get yourself into position. Here's my leg up if you guys want to hold on to it and just hold it for a second, go up, hold it for a second, hold it for a second. This is a good variation to really put all that tension and weight into one leg if you want something a little bit more challenging than having both legs on the ground doing a conventional hip thrust. For this hip thrust variation, I don't typically do this one. I have seen other people do it. I'm just gonna show it to you guys. You're putting your legs sort of in a figure four position. You're getting into your hip thrusting position. You will have Let's say you want the tension in your left leg. So you would put your right leg right here. It's in a um, figure four position. So my right ankle is on top of my left knee. And then get into position. And then up. Hold for one second. 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 Okay, that feels good. Maybe I will incorporate that into my gym routine. So actually guys, comment down below and tell me which one-legged hip thrust variation you like more. Do you like the one that I typically do where I bring one leg up into my chest area or do you like the figure four figuration? Either way, it's both gonna help activate the glutes and help grow the glutes, also help with the quads and the hamstrings and all that fun stuff too. Now we are on to the lunge. I am not a lunging fan, but it does get the job done. So here we go. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a lunge on the left side. So put your right leg on the bench. This is to add a little bit more tension. Make sure your knee like knee, foot, knee, foot. You're making like a 90 degree angle. This is a little difficult because I'm trying to lean, correct myself on the camera. And then you go down, up, down, up. I've seen people put their toes. It's whatever feels better for you. I like to be on my foot. Now, if you want a more quad dominating lunge, Bring this leg out a little bit and you're really gonna feel the activation in the quad a little bit more. And then same thing for your right side. So I'm gonna bring this leg out a little bit more and just go down. Up, down, up. But remember if you want the activation to be a little bit more in the quad, then widen your stance a little bit making sure your core is activated. Don't bring the top side of your body back and forth. Make sure you're staying 
straight and you're going up and down and making sure you're keeping your two legs in a 90 degree angle. So you're working all parts of your leg muscles. I'm going to show you guys a curtsy lunge on your left and right side. So the way this type of lunge works is that you will be in a lunge position and you can bring your left leg over your right and lunge, lunge. Ooh, make sure you stay balanced lunge and make sure your legs are again in that 90 degree angle See? right there making those 90 degree angles okay let me go on the other side just so you guys can see that 90 degree angle i was talking about for the 10th and final move I am going to combine my regular conventional squat with a regular lunge. And this one whew, really works the inner thigh area. Right here, the inner thigh area. Wow. And it works the glutes as well. And it works other parts of the leg muscle too, but you can really feel the inner thigh. And I'm gonna show you what would be considered one. So you're doing these moves as a set and you're not going one, two, three. It's do the whole set, that's one. And for this one, just do 10 of these. You don't stop, you just keep on going because you, you will start feeling the pain a little bit within like moves eight, nine, and 10. But I don't like to stop, I like to just push my way through that way I'm making sure my legs are staying on fire and the activation is really there. So we're gonna be in position I'm gonna start a little bit because I'm gonna move that way. And bring your legs together. Squat, lunge, squat, one. Squat, lunge, squat, two. Squat, lunge, squat, three. So you see what I mean? You're going to be doing squat. Lunge, squat, lunge. And that would be considered one rep. And do that 10 times. See how you guys go. Don't stop. Keep going, fire through it. Feel the burn, feel the activation. But thank you guys all for watching. I hope you learned a new at home body weight leg workout. And please remember what I said at the beginning of this video. This is your fitness journey. So don't compare your body to someone else's body. We are all created differently. And we are all beautiful in our own certain ways and just have fun with it. Learn that fitness is a lifestyle. It's not just maintaining a certain physique, it's learning to be healthy physically, mentally, emotionally, and I consider it also spiritually. And learning how to love your body as what it is and always continue to either grow and bulk, that's what I'm doing right now, or learning how to cut and lean out whatever you want to do have fun with it and try to find a type of fitness that you thoroughly enjoy whether it's swimming biking weightlifting mixed martial arts dancing hit workouts group fitness whatever it could be just have fun and learn to love the sweat okay guys thank you all for watching and i'll see you in next week's video bye